Alright guys, I have been waiting a very long time for this package. Precisely... Wait, 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 wait. I can give you a better estimate. Um, <laughs> no, I actually can't tell you. This is the Kickstarter page for the Coprint. Coprint Chroma Set all-in-one solution for every 3D printer. Guys, I know you saw this on Kickstarter. I backed this. I backed the Hyper Early Bird KCM set. So this was the earliest possible backing that you could do. I paid $311 plus $35 shipping for this package. I should get a KCM Clipper Chroma module set. I should get the Chroma head, which is the actual tool head. Uh, CX1 extruder, uh, some Magigoo, and some other useless stuff. This is supposed to be a clipper uh, upgrade to put onto any printer, so I could theoretically put it onto this Creality K or Ender 3 S, whatever it was, Ender 3 KE, or I could put onto any other uh, clipper product and print multicolor. So let's dive into this package. I'm not gonna be assembling it. I'm not gonna be giving you a review on it. I just have been super excited about this and I wanted to open it up so I can share with you what the final product actually is for $311, which actually, before I continue cutting, the uh, retail price of this unit itself is, it says 64% off, which means the, oh goodness gracious. That means the retail value is supposed to be 600 something dollars US. That's insane. All right, guys, FlexiSpot has once again reached out to the channel to showcase a wonderful, amazing product. Guys, this is the walking pad. As you can see, I've got it under the desk. This way, if I get tired of working in the gym, I still have work I need to do. I can put it under the desk and I can still get my work done. See, now I'm watching a video while I walk. Might be a little bit difficult, but I can do it. Another wonderful thing, guys, about the walking pad, it's got a remote, so I can tone the speed down while I'm walking, and then I can walk backwards. I don't recommend this. You might get hurt, but it's possible. Okay, you can tone the speed back up, and the greatest thing about the walking pad to me is this is not my primary use case for this product. I am gonna use it in my gym primarily, and it has a pneumatic handle that you can pull up. You can pull the handle up and then you have a handle to hold on to. Of course, the walking pad has other safety features like it has a clip-on pocket safety, which I can't quite figure out how to use when the handle is down. So whenever you inevitably fall off the walking pad, the uh, walking pad by FlexiSpot just stops automatically. I'm not really sure if I showcased all the features of the walking pad here, but definitely guys, check the link in the description. Give FlexiSpot a try. The walking pad is cheap, it's amazing, and uh, honestly, for uh, the price, this is a very wonderful, well-designed product. Okay, I'm falling. Insane. Hopefully this is gonna be a cool product. I mean, I got it for a relatively affordable price, but um, for $600, you better get something good. I know they had issues in development Holy crap, crap that, that is, is not, not what, what I was expecting. expecting. Okay. I was not expecting boxes and boxes. Um, last I saw, or the last that I saw, they had issues with the tool head. Um, and I think it was last year I saw it at um, Form Next or something, and it looked like it was a mess. So yeah, you basically, you got the tool head and then the KCM, as far as I'm aware, this is like a Creality Sonic pad, essentially, or the Big Tree Tech uh, Pad 7 or whatever. Um, let's definitely, I suppose we'll start. Uh, oh yeah, and so you've got all these individual extruders. Apparently you can take these extruders and you can plug like, maybe it's 16 or 30 of them or something, I can't whatever it was, you plug up as many of these as you want colors, and that's how you can expand this thing kind of infinitely. Um, interesting, this is the uh, KCM, the Clipper Chroma module. This feels like it's just air, very light. This is one of the cheapest electronics that I've ever held. 
Hopefully that's not um, saying anything about his performance. <laughs> okay, so thank you for your support. Um, scan the QR code for uh, user manual instructions and more. Um, what is in here? That whole box for this, interesting. It completely unlabeled uh, electronics. I'm gonna put that back in there. I have no idea what that board was. You know why it feels nicer? Because it's a power supply. That's why it feels heavier. Okay, so far I'm a little underwhelmed. Co-print, I'm a little underwhelmed. Uh, maybe, just, I mean, this is ridiculous. This, this probably weighs like an eighth of a pound. Light electronics and electronics that have a lot of air in them uh, usually, usually don't, don't they, they don't, don't end well normally. normally. But maybe this is different. Obviously, this has not been used yet. Uh, you know, this doesn't have to go in here now. We can do this later. Uh, now the tool head feels heavy. Again, not necessarily a good thing for a tool head. <laughs> All the packaging is beautiful. You've done a very good job, Coprint. I am very proud of that. Uh, another thank you letter. All right, what is this? Whoa, what the heck? Just like fell right out. Okay. This is, okay, that's because it's a magnet. Okay, this is heavy. If I open this thing up, uh, you have a fetus, fetus, whatever hot end. I remember they partnered with fetus, fetus, whoever this is. I can't really explain this hot end because I didn't follow the project that well. I will say this, is very big um it is the same height as i suppose most tool heads are uh but this thing is just wide this is like one and a half the width of the ender 3 ke um i think i'm assuming okay in here there's more wires for the tool head there's probably no reason for me to open that up and then a mounting plate um I presume, yeah, the mounting plate uh, just has places for your belt so you can mount this to any printer. Obviously, you'll need to have some kind of uh, way to actually affix it to the printer, but uh, that's nice. Give you a little head start, if you will. Um, how does this go in here? Oh, like this. Okay, all right. And then we can put this back in here of course it's in wrong back in here all right now these extruders how do these things work i'm underwhelmed so far coprint i've paid 300 dollars and i'm underwhelmed so if someone's gonna pay over 600 dollars i would be angry maybe when i install it my opinions will change okay now this co-print logo on the back of the motor, uh, this is, this honestly just looks like, geez, my brain's not working. This is not good. I can't think of common words. I just recorded a video, an unboxing video a little while ago, and um, I forgot the name of a hot end. This is, oh, goodness gracious, same for this extruder. This is just a common, like, direct drive extruder assembly, essentially. Um, and it also feels really light, to be honest. Uh, let's see if I can come up with the name of this. After all my looking, a dual drive. Yep, that's the name I couldn't think of. Anyway, guys, uh, this is just a dual drive. It's got two gears in there, yep. Anyway, um, it feels cheap. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm sure something, I'm sure there's electronics in here in the, back of the, uh, in the back of the motor that's making it smart and compatible with the whole system, but I'm gonna be honest, just from the unboxing, um, I'm, I'm definitely underwhelmed because the tool head is huge 
the uh, KCM module, the, the KCM clipper module, this, you can load up four um, extruders per KCM module, and I think you can have, it's probably four KCM modules, so you can probably have 16 different colors. Who knows, maybe because it's a clipper-based product, maybe it's gonna be better than the AMS, maybe it's gonna be better than the Creality CFS or whoever else. Um, and if it is better, then maybe I'll end up buying more of these because I think if you have this system already, expanding it to fit even more colors is cheaper. I think the KCM module, uh, this could be entirely wrong, but I thought I remembered it being like 30 bucks or something, right? And then all you need is additional uh, motors. Um, yeah, now that I remember it, uh, this is the brains of it. These are just basic motors. You might actually be able to use any motor, I don't know. Anyway, um, if you're gonna be a co-print customer, uh, hopefully this video is helpful for you guys. Do give a like and a subscription to the channel because now that I have this, I hopefully will be able to get it installed on a printer and I can actually do some testing on it and show you guys some real world, real world results. Let's see, it's 9.50, I cannot talk. I better get off this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.